Hi, I'm Marie Hoffman. I'm here at Agritechnica 2023 in Hanover at the New Holland stand because we've just announced the new combine of New Holland, the CR11. So I'm sitting here with Lars. Lars is uh, the product manager of combines for the global market from New Holland. Hi Lars, nice Hi. to meet you. How are you? So what is the meaning for your customers of the CR? Yeah, sure. I mean, the CR is a long and proud name for us. It has a lot of heritage built in it as being the New Holland Holland twin rotor flagship combine. So it was 100% natural that we continue to use that model like the CR. And then because this is a model sitting on top of everything else, the number 11 indicates of course that it is bigger than the current 1090. So it's bigger, but the weight is exactly the same. The weight it's, is more or less the okay, same, it's yes. It's not heavier. No, it's not. So are you moving there as a company, as New Holland, to go to bigger machines or is there a limit? I don't think there's a limit, but it's clear we listen to our customers and the trend is the same everywhere. Farms are consolidating globally. It's not only happening in Europe, it's happening in North America, South America and Brazil. And our customers are telling us they need more capacity, but not at any cost. We need to protect the soil. We also need to make sure we protect the cost of ownership. All these things have to be thought into the project. Efficiency yes. and productivity. Yes. It's green productivity yes. because it's the big um, theme of this fair. The color of this machine is gold because it won the gold medal from the LG Innovation Award. That means that this machine is sustainable. I think what the jury recognized is that we have rethought all the concepts in terms of combines. And from a sustainability point of view, that is a very good thing because we have proven we can do much more with less in terms of weight of the machine but also in terms of fuel and everything else that goes into harvesting. So what does it mean exactly for the technology? This machine is full of new technology but I can give you a couple of examples. Uh, first of all I would like to talk about our new cleaning shoe. It's not just one cleaning shoe, it's actually two cleaning shoes after each other. So we are actually taking all the grain, all the material and we are taking 50% of the grain away on the first cleaning shoe before we move to the second cleaning shoe. And that allows us to drive losses down to almost zero. Another example is residue management. And what we've done with our residue management system is completely re-innovated. And one of the very innovative features on this system is radars. So we're actually looking at where the biomass is going and creating a perfect even spread all the way out to 18 meters. How about precision egg? So what are is uh, new on this machine? Um... Part of doing more with less is adding technology to the equation. So this machine is a better and smarter version of IntelliSense. It's got new monitors, it's got a whole new guidance system, it's all linked up to telematics as standard, and then of course we have a lot of intelligent features. How about when something is blocked into the machine? This machine actually has a feature Then, if you block any of the moment components like the DFR or the rotors or anything like this, the machine will tell you, you blocked your rotors, do you want me to unlock it? And you just accept and say yes, and the machine will start to unblocking itself. It can reverse the rotors, it has a lot of sensors built into it, so it knows what to do. Wow. And most unblocking will take from 5 to 10 minutes, almost regardless of what kind of block you're talking about, and you don't have to leave the cap. Oh wow, that is so cool. What we note when we go and ride with customers, they're not pushing the machine to full capacity because they're afraid of blocking. Yes. With this system, our customers are now beginning to push the machine to full capacity. So it's okay. very important from a capacity perspective as well. Thank you so much.